What's up guys, this is 2TV, dropping another video for you. And in today's video, I think my secret $2,000 purchase is coming in the mail, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm like super frustrated guys. So TikTok might get banned again. Instagram has stopped paying their creators for the time being. They uh, paused bonuses. I'm super frustrated because I feel like I'm making good videos on YouTube and they're just not getting views, not getting views at all. So I don't really know the reason. If you are watching my video, I really thank you guys for the support. Um, I know not everything is gonna happen right away. I'm kinda starting to lose interest in it. Um, trying so hard for something and it's just not paying off at all. I'm trying to, we're trying to stick with this guys. Just make sure you're sharing the video guys. Um, if you're gonna even bother clicking on the video, just watch the whole fucking thing. Comment down below what videos you guys wanna see. Communicate with me. I'm very responsive, so I'll try to respond to everybody if they comment. If you guys watch all the videos, make sure you turn on post notifications so you can be the first one to comment because I value true subscribers word over just someone who's dropping in for one video. All right, dude, I was hauling ass on back roads and I'm pretty sure I just passed the FedEx truck with my secret $2,000 purchase in there. Uh, we are out to uh, get my shit. Shit, boy, I was right. And anyone guess what these are? <laughs> For some reason, the hub centric rings that Kensai sent me um, don't fit shit i'm gonna need camber definitely gonna order a lug stud conversion kit i definitely need longer lugs for it but holy shit this is gonna be poking like a motherfucker this isn't a huge issue but it's just not what i ordered give me 19 by nine and a half my old wheels are 18 by eight and a half i'm not that mad about it but i also wanted to go a lot lower bigger wheels I was low to the ground, so definitely gonna need arrow in some way, shape, or form. All right, so it's Wednesday. I don't know where I left off last, but uh, I just got out of work. Super tired, need to take a nap. But now we're gonna throw the wheels back in my mom's car outside and take these to get tires on them. Guys, I'm not even lying to you when I went there, and it wasn't it wasn't the shop's fault. It was the distributor's fault. They didn't send my tires. So uh, I guess I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. This video, this YouTube video is probably gonna be late. But. Hey, we're finally loaded up. Not enough room anywhere for these in my car. Don't know why I brought my car, but listen, it's fine, it's working. I just got a passenger who's heavier than my girlfriend. <laughs> All right, so obviously this is a little bit of a dilemma because if I air out, my quarter panel sits on top of my tire and won't sneak past it. And then up here in the front, it almost gets past the fender, but there's a little lip inside here that the tire gets stuck on. So I'm gonna have to camber that in literally so slightly. And then these, I'm literally gonna have to max them out. So yeah. All right, so it's actually the next day, but I'm gonna get started on this. So what I have to do is jack the car up a little bit, take the wheel off, disconnect the caliper, take off the rotor, and then I can access the camber bolt. All right, guys, scratch that. I did not take the rotor off, but I am getting this loose. I'm not entirely sure how to adjust the camber just yet. I think it has something to do with uh, that little washer that looks like a star in there. This is just a learning process. I've never done this before. I'm texting uh, one of my friends, Luke. He has a cambered TT. Shit is crazy. Um, he does this all the time. So uh, huge shout out to him for helping me through this because this is fucking treacherous. All right, so the update is guys, I put this back together because the uh, stock suspension here, there is no way for me to adjust the camber. If you guys know how to adjust this OEM camber enough that I could tuck, um i'll kiss you but for right now it looks like i'm going to have to order camera arms for the rear um i'm not even gonna touch the front now because i don't wanna so yeah i'm gonna drop like 
two, three hundred bucks that I don't have and we're gonna ball out, you know? Okay, so I discovered there is this thing right there. It's called an eccentric bolt. When you rotate the bolt, it basically adjusts the camber on the car. So I have it completely maxed out and I still don't think it is enough for me to air out fully. If it's still not enough for me to air out, I'm still gonna have to buy camber arms for the rear of this car. This definitely doesn't look too promising. For some reason, this side looks a lot more tucked than the other one. So hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully it works, I guess. We're gonna try this real quick. If it doesn't work, I need you guys to like and subscribe because I went through a lot of stress and I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> How about this side? Oh, that's a lot better. Why is this working better than the other side? What the hell is, why? I'm quarter panel to lip on the other side. Well, almost to lip, but like, what the hell? Why is this working and that side isn't working over there? Clearly this is the better side, but this is still not enough because I'm not fully aired out as much as I should be. If we stay at this camber, once it sneaks past this tire, it's gonna catch on the lip and it's probably gonna chip the shit out of my paint. And it's the next day. Um, <clears throat> these are my old wheels. If you guys want to buy them, DM me on Instagram or something like that. The buyer who was going to buy them uh, never messaged me back. So yeah, so they're still for sale. I have the car maxed out as far as I can go down because the front is making weird noises when I try to go any lower because of the carbon fenders. And this is as low as the rear goes and I actually have to stand right there inside of my door to get it to go that low. And you can see mass amounts of rubber uh, splashing all over my quarter panel because every time I hit a bump, it just makes terrible noises. But that is basically gonna be the end of the video, guys. I'm gonna leave you guys at the end with a little bit of an edit, a little bit of a montage of the car with the wheels on. But if you guys are still watching at this time, make sure you comment these three words. Don't get overwhelmed. That's what I want you guys to comment. That is what you have to live by. That's what you have to go by nowadays because everything is so fucking stressful for no reason. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Have a good day. And as always, don't get overwhelmed. I just noticed it's ruining my paint on my quarter panel. What do you think, mom? Fingers up my mouth.